everybody, this is Nia Boaz Fila speaking and I made myself up a little bit for you this time. I thought it would be a good example to show you that through this fearful time, through this time of great darkness and anxiety, that if you've been listening to my videos or videos of other astrologers, you're much more ready for this time emotionally and mentally i know i am because i've been waiting for this celestial thunderstorm for almost three years been talking about it to my viewers to you almost three years and almost three years when i first mentioned this time i told you this is going to be a period in which all the grays are going to become more black or white so we could see clearer how we need to change and it is going to be immensely transformative and dramatic and indeed we now see the world around us changing and i hope that if you've been listening to my videos then you feel somewhat comforted that this time arrived on due dates <laughs> as we expected because it could provide a comfort because it's not arbitrary because we know there is a reason for the struggle there is a reason for this development as hard or as fear uh, uh, awakening and, and, and heightening as it might be so I thought it would be a great idea that in this fearful time I would show you that I could be brave and I could do something fun with you you know, if you spend a lot of time at home, this is your time to change who you are. This is your time to make this a brave new world in your image. To actually change your routine, your habits, because it doesn't matter what you understand, baby. It matters what you do. The habitual reptile brain doesn't understand cognition. So if you really want your world to change or the world to change, you will have to change your habits, not your thoughts alone. And what a wonderful time this is to make our voices sound loud and indeed recreate this world in a much more communal, heartfelt, loving way, working through the fear with love and light. This is your time to be the superhero you dreamt you could be. This is the time to be the person you dreamt would come riding in and saving you. This is the time to become that light-bearing nation that is supposed to save this world. The Indians, I think it's the Lakota, which I'm very, very, very fond of and connected to, have an ancient <coughs> prophecy. Of the long-haired people coming from many nations with many colors known as the rainbow people that would come and take this earth into a golden age of peace indeed turbulations has commenced and we are in the process and it is now up to you to make the changes that you dreamt would come to this world to be what you dreamt would come to this world to be the change you would want to see in this world as Mahatma Gandhi used to say in this time of fear answer it with love and bravery in this time of darkness answer it with light in this time of isolation be more communal in this time of divid, uh, uh, dividing, be unified. Overlook your differences. Understand we are all in the same boat together. Understand it is not just up to you. You cannot do it alone. You need us and we need you. <laughs> and we're not giving up on you. We're not. 
So go out there or, or stay in with Corona. Stay in. But go out there with your heart and be brave and be loving and be full of light as you know you can be, as you dream you can become. So when you look at this time in retrospective, you could say, well, honey, challenging it sure was, but I'm so proud of you for the person you chose to be through it all. Bravo. That's the feeling I want you to have about yourself when you look back at that time. So, love, not fear. Don't let fear and anxiety rule. Let's go down to this week because we're heading into the most densely packed weeks of almost this year. You know, one, certainly one of the peaks and we've passed it with the last supermoon <coughs> and we're heading to another supermoon in April. And these last two weeks of March are the darkest hour before the dawn, so to speak, astrologically. It's a tempest. And only by the after the first week of April will be feeling spring again. And I'll be talking about the spring equinox next time or this time or more. Uh, uh, next time but this is a time that we need to take every moment and every chance we can to recreate a pleasurable experience in our surroundings in our community in our family in our hearts it's the little things that count that make up the big picture that help you it's the little steps that help you get out of the hole, you know, to step out of the rim of that cavern. Saturday the 14th is a great day to be outside if the weather is permitting in nature and just soak in the energies. It's a great day for anything spiritual or artistic. So is Sunday, but Sunday could be a little more lethargic and tired. Monday is a little confusing and a little dense. I would like you to Tuesday go out and do something new with loved ones. And it is a <coughs> sensitive day. So be careful as the moon is squaring Chiron. So you are more sensitive and you're more likely to find sensitive people around you. If you feel that with pleasurable new activity, it could be a, a wonderful day. Wednesday the 18th, the moon joins Mars and uh, uh, Jupiter and Pluto, all standing in one line, all standing in one line from the Earth, one azimuth, all sending this dense, strong, heightened energy onto Earth. Very karmatic time indeed, and a time that we need to watch out not to let the drama intensify in our life because there's so much energy and right now because of us being debilitated in our activities everything being cancelled being at home living little there's so much buildup of energy that could produce some unwanted operations like violence like aggression so have a lot of sex do a lot of physical activity. Everything you need to fix her up, her, that's a good time to do it now. And I would say nature and sports are amazingly important. And be aware of this buildup of energy. Be aware how, how it sits within you. And you can utilize it for creativity, for creating, for doing anything artistic, for doing anything that requires energy to go forward and complete a task that you didn't have the energy to complete before. So Wednesday is like that, Thursday is like that. A little unstable that Thursday, 
don't look for stability over the weekend look for adventure as we are heading into the equinox friday and saturday and spring is in the air fall on the southern side of the globe and mars is conjunct jupiter that means it's going to be a very very energetic spring as the sun goes in to aries sextile saturn i believe we are going to feel much better much more energetic and we need to become not too optimistic don't be overshooting targets because you feel that some of the fear is over on the contrary this could be a violent aggressive time and hopefully not a militaristic time we all need to pray for quiet peaceful times at this period saturday itself is a nice time in the sky it's a great day to take a breath and just relax March the, the 22nd, Saturn is going into Aquarius. We'll be talking about that in the next video. On the 23rd, Mars is conjunct Pluto. That's the heightening of the militaristic energy I've been talking about. The destructive energy I've been talking about. And March 25th, Sun conjunct Chiron. So we still have next week to expect some turbulent occurrences in the sky that are going to affect us. So do take good care of yourself, not just health-wise, but remember that your mental and emotional health is very critically important. So take care of your own temple on all levels necessary. We need you, and we're not giving up on you. We all need to go through this braver, together, spreading light and love wherever there is darkness and fear. So may you spread the light and love. And if you want a consultation with me, oh, I forgot. I had to cancel my tour to the States and Amsterdam. I'm not coming. So everyone who can who, who, who scheduled the session can have it online with me. And of course, the places that I, I needed to teach and lecture could have it online with me. But unfortunately, I won't be coming over just now. So, um, ah, what's going on with this hair? <laughs> Girls, you need to teach me what to do. This is terrible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And any reading, any course, if you're stuck at home and you want an astrology course that is going to be, um, you know, um, intense astrology immersion with a special price for coronavirus, just contact me. All the details are at the end in the slide. Thank you for sharing this and commenting. It makes this video spread even more. Thank you for spreading the truth and your light. And may you live long and prosper. <laughs>